Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Artist at Autodesk. And I just want to show you how to use atmosphere volume to create this kind of foggy uh, effect using a post apocalyptic scene from Kip Bash 3D. You get some very interesting kind of Blade Runner style lighting effects using quad rays as well. And you can download, there's a free model city scene you can download to if you want to follow along. I'll put a link in the description. So here's the model that I've imported. So we start off by creating an Arnold light. Let's move that up and scale it up. Make sure it's pointing towards the camera. I can't see anything at the moment because the exposure is zero, so just can increase that to something like 15. And if we go to the render settings and under environment, atmosphere, and create an atmosphere volume node there, it won't show you anything by default because the density is zero. So we just slowly increase that slightly. And then um, we can reduce the exposure to compensate for the brightness. Okay, so at the moment it's set to a quad by default. We'll change it to a disk to give us something more like a sun or a moonlight. And then we can change the color temperature, have something cool or warmer. Okay, so something like that, 4000. Uh, we could also add a light decay filter. So you go to light filters, light decay. Chain. Enable it, use far attenuation and just increase the end. Ah, there we go. So you can see the effect there. I'm going to just disable that for now. So you can kind of see some good rays here, but the, the light size is quite too, too large. If we shrink it down, and I'll just position it so it's behind this building here. So now you can see it's more pronounced. See it through the gaps there. And rotate it around. We go back to atmosphere volume. Now you notice the diffuse is set to zero by default. So I'll look at the, if you go to the Arnold docs and um, forward slash atmosphere volume, go down to your plugin. I'll take you to the atmosphere volume page. And then under that, uh, you've got contribution attributes. You can see diffuse is off by default. So yeah, so diffuse controls are degree to which atmosphere volume affects GI diffuse ray. So at the moment, the atmosphere volume is not affecting the sphere. It's completely black. But when we turn to one, you can see it's picking up that bounce light from the, from the atmosphere volume. So likewise, we keep this image here and then increase that to one. You can start to see the bounce light. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, so there's that's one, that's zero. So maybe just bring it down just slightly just so that we see something. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.